Deflategate might never have happened. 500 days after this whole thing started, we still have no unassailable proof that Patriots quarterback Tom Brady masterminded a scheme to deflate footballs in the 2014 AFC Championship game. We can't even say for sure that there was a scheme at all. And for that matter, who knows if anyone let any air out of any single football. For all we know, nature did it. It's called the ideal gas law and you should look it up. Deflategate could very well be a scandal without a conspirator. We'll never know for sure. But what Deflategate has taught us is that the NFL doesn't need indisputable proof to accuse and ultimately impose discipline. Its collective bargaining agreement provides wide latitude to punish simply if it appears more likely than not that something bad happened. What started on January 19th, 2015 is still well underway and has no end of sight here in June of 2016. Brady is appealing the appeal of his overturned conviction, as it were, and the case could ultimately go to the United States Supreme Court. Which brings us to another gate case that went to the Supreme Court. Keep in mind that Watergate, the original and perhaps only Gate scandal, consumed 783 days between the original burglary of the Democratic National Committee and the resignation of President Nixon. Deflategate is a mere 284 days away from beating that mark. Here's a prediction. It'll get there.